Hi everybody, you may have watched my video about how to edit, change or increase the item loot and weapon spawn rate on your DAISY Nitrado private service for Xbox and PlayStation. Um, and I'll put a link to that video in the description down below. But I wanted to go into a little bit more detail about the syntax and the words and the values, what they mean when you're editing the uh, types.xml file. So the types.xml file this is the file that on the server allows the um, central loot economy, which is like the program that controls how much stuff is in your version of DAISY on your server, your Chernus or your Livonia. Um, it, it, it tells it tells that central loot economy um, how many of these things should you should should it spawn in, um, and when should it despawn them, and that sort of stuff. Okay, so probably the best way is if, if we look at one in a little bit more depth and I explain it, then um, you kind of understand what's going on. So what we'll do is we'll look at this one, the, the ACOG optic, and I've put it into a little file here so we can kind of see. So if we start at the top, um, and you may well have to go full screen to see this. So the type name is the ACOG optic. So this is a this is a optic for an assault rifle. And the first figure says nominal 15. And this is how many should be in the server. So this is telling, you know, telling the central loot coming, hey, I want 15 ACOG optics on my map. So if you wanted to have more, you would put that number up. Nice and easy, isn't it? If you want to add less, put it down. The next thing is lifetime, 7,200. And this is how long after one of these items has spawned in on the map, if it doesn't get touched or interacted with in any way, when should it disappear? And that's in seconds. So 7,200 seconds turns out to be, it's two hours if you do do the math. So this scope, when one spawns in, it'll sit there for two hours and then the central loot economy will go, right, let's get rid of that and we'll put something else there or, or we'll we'll move that scope somewhere else. Because in day Z, the, uh, the, the server is constantly in, on chunks of the map, doesn't do it all in the same place, but on chunks of the map, it's despawning stuff and respawning in. Away from where players are, it won't do it in front of you, but away from where players are, it goes, okay, this thing has been here for two hours, let's get rid of it, and let's put one somewhere else, or let's put something else in its place. Now, the restock at 1800, again, this is in se sec seconds, this is telling the server how long should it wait in between adding them to the server. So let, let's imagine that we're meant to have 15 of these ACOG scopes and then for some reason five are taken, five are gone. Maybe they, you know, people gab them and they put them on their guns or they, they bury them somewhere. So we've only got 10 now. So the server goes, okay, right, okay, so I need to spawn in another five. And this is saying to the server, well actually don't spawn them all in at the same time spawn one in and then wait half an hour then spawn another in then wait half an hour and spawn another in so that's what the 1800 is if you set that to zero it would just spawn all the five in bloop, all at once um i think the reason why it does this is to give another kind of randomizing um, part to the way that it spawns stuff in I, I think that's why it does it rather than just just throws them all in at once. Probably also because you, you probably got situations where if a player is looting a particular area, like a, like where ACOG scopes would be, say like in military tents or something like that. If a player was to take all the items from that from that military area and then go away, and the server needs to then spawn in five more ACOG scopes, there's a chance it might dump them all, maybe, into the same area. So that might be why it do does that. Not quite sure. Bohemia Interactive are really good at not kind of explaining <laughs> any of this, but that's what that means. Now, next one is minimum, the minimum of eight. So this is the amount when the server should stop respawning in. So although you're always meant to have, you're meant to have 15, the server won't start respawning them in until it gets down to eight. Then it'll go, right, okay, we got down to eight. Let's re let's start respawning those in to fill it up. And in this case, it's going to respawn in one every half hour. Now, the next two 
um, values, the quant min and the quant max, a little bit complicated, but they only apply to items that can have something else inside them. So that could be water bottles, it could be water pots, it could be magazines for rifles and submachine guns or pistols. So if you take if you take a water bottle for example, um, the quant min can be zero, so nothing in it, and the quant max could be 100, which would mean 100%, which means that it's full of water. So you could have, say, a quant min of 20 and a quant max of 80. So your water bottles would spawn in with between 20 and 80% full of water. You know, like when you pick up a, a magazine often for a for a gun, there'll often be some bullets in it, won't you? They're very rarely completely empty. And so you could change this for, like, bullet magazines to be... Um, the quant min could be could be 100 and the quant max could be 100 so that all of those magazines of that particular type are always full of bullets when you pick them up um but it's, it's, it's fun sometimes to have a bit of randomness isn't it so you know, do a quant min of i don't know 20 and a quant max of 80 something like that now in this case this is a scope so a scope can't have anything inside it in the same way that water bottles and magazines do so the quant min and the quant max is minus one and that's basically not applicable it's saying look quant min and quant max they don't apply to this so don't try and apply those to them and then we've got cost the cost is 100 so this is the priority for the server to respawn it so um it's kind of it's saying there you know how important is this thing in terms of one percent to 100 percent? and what we're saying here is this acog optics are important and you should definitely respawn them when you get the chance to and the next bit is the flags. Now this is a bit confusing, but you know at the beginning we said that um, the nominal, nominal value for these scopes is 15. So there should be 15 on the server. And the, the restock, sorry, the, um, the minimum is eight. So we'll start restocking them at eight. How the server, how the central loot economy comes to that answer for that number, it's within this flag count. And within this, this count, zero stands for no, and one stands for yes. So you've got stuff that's in cargo, stuff that's been hoarded, <coughs> stuff that's on the map, stuff that's been um, carried by players, and stuff that's been crafted, or stuff that's diluted, which I think it might mean it's damaged. And so anything that is a one means the server will count that item that is that. So in this case with the scopes, it's only going to count scopes that are on the map, so they're just sitting on the map. If players have got them in hordes, so they've got them in barrels or they've buried them, or they've got them on their person, on their guns, it's not going to count them towards the 8 or the 15 total. So, <laughs> you'll find with some, uh, especially weapons, that all of the flag counts will be set to 1. So, it means that if people have got these guns or these items, the central loot economy is and the person has put them in a barrel on their base or buried them in a dry sack somewhere the server will still count them so it won't spawn any more in so that can be quite important so that is why for quite a few of these items to improve the amount of loot on your server you may well want to turn these to zero however be very careful <coughs> don't have them all at zero you always i think you always really want to keep the map one as one because if you don't, it, it might crash the server, but the other thing that might happen is it might just keep spawning these guns in. And whenever there's a space for uh, spawning these site, sites in or, or the gun in, so whenever there's a space, so whenever it's, it's, it's delete something, then it will put one of these scopes in and it will keep doing it and keep doing it. And your map will just be full of the same thing. Now that might say, <laughs> sound cool, but you know that will probably lead to server crashes because of the sheer amount of... Um, processing that's going on to, to spawn these things in and then we've got the category name and the usage name so generally this means that this item <coughs> um, is associated with guns and it will spawn around military areas so there we go hopefully that's a nice little explanation of what the words what the meaning is behind behind uh, the, the things you find in um, in your server in the types.xml <coughs> file and you can kind of see what's going but again I'll put a link to the um, video I did about editing this file 
because there are some really cool tools that you can use to edit this very very easily that are a minimum of hassle there we go so if you've got any other questions make sure you put them in the questions box down below in the comment section if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe thank you very much and i'll see you again soon